Hi, this is Natalie Lucier, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an opt-in quiz. So this is the type of quiz that you would use to build an email list and also to follow up with people differently based on how they answer your quiz. So I'm going to show you different ways that you can set up your quiz so that you can essentially funnel people through a different follow-up sequence in your CRM or email marketing system. So how do you do that? Well, you do that with two tools by Ambition Ally. The first one is called Pop-Up Ally Pro, and the second one is called Progress Ally. So Pop-Up Ally Pro actually handles all of the email opt-in side of things, creating the look and feel of your opt-in boxes, and also connecting to your CRM and your email marketing provider so that people get added to different email lists. And then in Progress Ally, that's where you create the quizzes, the assessment, however you want to design that. And I'm going to show you some examples. So here's exactly how you do that. So here we are inside of Pop-Up Ally Pro. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've created four different opt-in boxes and they all look slightly different and the quiz that I'm going to be doing or the assessment I'm going to be doing is what season are you? So I have these different opt-in boxes and they all look slightly different so as you'll see here they have a slightly different color so you've got winter, you've got fall, summer, spring, and they all have a slightly different color. And this is where I would put the HTML for that opt-in box. And we have tutorials on how to do that, and it'll be a little bit different based on which email marketing system you're using. But as you can see, the opt-in box is slightly different based on um, you know, what season this person would, would potentially be. So the next part of it is actually creating the quiz. So this is a blank page here on a test website. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose the Progress Ally short code adder, and then I'm going to choose to add our quiz. Once we've done that, I'm going to go down here into the quiz settings, and I've chosen to do the personality test, but you could also do a graded quiz. So if people pass or fail, you could add a different opt-in option. So for example, if they are above a certain level, you could give them a certain follow-up sequence. If they're below a certain level, you could give them a different follow-up sequence. You could also do something similar with a scoring test. So if you have different ranges where people could score a different amount, you can also do that. But let's go ahead with our personality test, which would be helpful if you're designing an assessment. So here I have all the different outcomes. So I've got our outcome number one, which is summer. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the embedded opt-in. And like I said, with pop-up ally, you can do embedded as well as pop-ups, but these are all going to be embedded. And then I'm going to do the, the same here for all of the other uh, outcomes. I'm just going to go ahead and match them up with the opt-in that I would want here. So now that I've done that, I'm also just going to show you the different questions I had set up for this quiz. So I had created some simple questions like what's your favorite mode of transportation? Um, what's your favorite drink? And then I also lined all the answers up with the appropriate outcome that I want people to have. So you can also add as many questions as you want and edit the outcome for all of these. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this particular question and just go ahead and save this and show you how it works. So here is my test page with my quiz. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, winter and we'll see what happens when I submit my answers. So as you can see here, it shows the opt-in box that is related to the answers that I got. Now let's retake this quiz and let's say that I wanted to go with summer. I'm just going to go ahead and submit these answers and again you have a different opt-in box here and all of these settings for your opt-in boxes are going to be done directly inside of Pop-Up Ally Pro so you can set up a different thank you page with a different download on that page. You can also set up a different follow-up sequence inside of your email provider depending on what you're using. So this is a super simple way to build your list faster using a quiz and also following up with people based on their results. So I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this video, you can find out more about Progress Ally and Pop-Up Ally by going to ambitionally.com and you'll see all the information about how these two tools work together. I hope that you give this a go. Pop-Up Ally Pro and Progress Ally are incredible WordPress plugins and we're so proud to help you build your list faster in a very intuitive and customized way.